My brains rebel. <laughs> he just won't accept nice things happening to it me. It looks terrible. Is he missing a teeth? He just keeps fantasizing. Oh my god. Hey folks, how's it going? We're checking out more Red Dwarf. Hopefully you guys have a fantastic day. I really enjoyed the last episode, man. The bridge looks better. Holly looks better. They show more of the ship. They left the ship. They came back with a new character. Uh, what do you call it? Lister was dirty the entire time, which is funny. He's always, like, dusty anyway. And up to his spacesuit. That was funny to me, too, that they left the ship and everybody's all, like, pristine and he's completely filthy. And my favorite part was Lister making the joke, like, making fun of Rimmer, saying all the stuff Rimmer wanted him to say to, like, the dead girls as though they're alive. That was, like, my favorite scene, so. Yeah, man. Let's just go and jump into this one, man. We'll talk about it more in the end. <laughs> oh, no. See what I mean? <laughs> There's everything here, all the male entertainment cassettes, a new batch of movies. Yo, the new Friday the 13th movie. Friday the 13th, part 1649. <laughs> Look, Casablanca, they've remade Casablanca. Philistines. I mean, how can you remake Casablanca? The one starred of Myra Binglebat and Peter Beardsley was definitive. Yeah, that's all right, <laughs> Knockout. Me, me. Schmeck! Outland Revenue? Oh, 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 Outland Revenue! 8,500! 8,500? That's a lot of tax, isn't it, Lister? How on Titan are you gonna pay for that, eh? I'm not. It's yours. What? <laughs> Bogus. Now, this is wrong. It's wrong. It's well wrong, Lister. Relax, it doesn't matter now. I'm not gonna catch you now, are they? What do right? you mean? Just because we're three million years into deep space and the human species is extinct? I write to inform you that your father is dad. Well, of course he is. Maybe it's your father's stroke, dad. Dead. I can't make it out. My father is dead. What? My father is dead. Oh, yeah, it's an E. <laughs> oh, way. Sorry. We've been there for a long time, though. Is that all she says? Just that he passed away peacefully in his jeep. Sleep. <laughs> <laughs> stupid. I remember when my dad died, you know. Got loads of presents of everyone like it was Christmas. I remember wishing a couple of more people would die so I could complete me Lego set. <laughs> grandma tried to explain, you know. She said, she said he'd gone away and he wasn't coming back. She said he was very happy and he'd gone to the same place as me goldfish. So I thought he'd flushed him down the bar. <laughs> Such a dink. I thought he was just round the u bend, you know? He used to stuff food down and magazines and that for him to read. I had three brothers. When we were young, he bought a traction machine so that he could stretch us. <laughs> By the time my brother Frank was 11, he was six foot five. <laughs> He had this fixation that we all had to get into the Space Corps. At mealtimes, he'd ask us questions on astro-navigation. If we got them wrong, no food. God, Rimmer, how did you cope with that? I didn't. I nearly died of malnutrition. <laughs> <laughs> I had no idea. I thought you adored your parents. I always wanted, just once, just once, for him to say to me, Well done. For what? For something, for anything. And now... Chicken. <laughs> Good evening. Here is the news on Friday the 27th of Geldof. Archaeologists near Mount Sinai have discovered what is believed to be a missing page from the Bible and is believed to read, To my darling Candy, all characters portrayed within this book are fictitious and any resemblance to persons living or dead is purely coincidental. The page has been universally condemned by church leaders. It's party time for all the little worms. <laughs> it's a good idea, dude. There's just no consoling him. Better than life it is! Brilliant! Let's play! <laughs> That's what's her name? The actress of the 20th century. Uh, the Mary Magdalene. <laughs> <laughs> it's Marilyn Monroe, you gimp. 
think she fantasies you. What does that prove? She's not blind. Hey, baby, I'm a little busy right now. I'll catch you later, OK? It's absolutely incredible. Excuse me, you're probably really busy, but can I just say you are my all-time favorite fascist dictator. I mean, I've read all your war diaries, and your Italian campaign was brilliant. <laughs> Napoleon Bonaparte. Oh, you did a life fantasy. Gentlemen, welcome to Better Than Life. Now you must be hungry, and there's a restaurant just a couple of miles down the beach. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> They're so bogus. <laughs> oh no. Too small. Think big. Oh shit. Ah, that's more like it. <laughs> Is it wasn't uh, it the same van from Only Fools and Horses with uh, the same model? The three wheeler. Uh, Magruder. Hi, Tiger. Ah, I'm not <laughs> wearing a people bra under that, eh? Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> We're just one thing away from perfection. Oh my goodness. <laughs> As ordered, sir, a small <laughs> Oh no. Are you sure you wouldn't like your fish cooked? No, sir. I like my food to move. <laughs> I'm going to eat you in the <laughs> Mr. Rimmer! <laughs> Goofy. Sir, they're on table K on the second terrace. Excellent. Sir, I know it's the most awful bore, but uh, would you mind just signing this? What's that, you little pipsqueak? <laughs> my incredible career by oh my God. A. J. <laughs> I've read it 18 times, sir. Oh, that's goofy. There you go, Leto. Oh, thank you, sir. Gosh, I'll be the envy of the Academy. Oh uh, no. Father. Son. I figure. What are you doing here? I'm sorry to barge in on you and your uh, officer chummies, but. Yes? I just wanted to tell you. You're a total smeghead. <laughs> <laughs> what? This isn't my fantasy? No, it's mine. <laughs> He's so bogus. <laughs> All right, what's happening, dudes? We're having a real nice time. I'm dating Marilyn Monroe, and also I have another girlfriend who's a mermaid. She's half woman, half fish. Woo! Oh, no. <laughs> Somehow I'd imagine she'd be a woman on top and a fish on the bottom. <laughs> no, that's a stupid way around. <laughs> oh, man, stupid way around. Who are all those guys? It's Magruder. She got pregnant. So this morning, she made me marry her. And this afternoon, we had seven kids. <laughs> oh, no. It was too impractical. With all the kids and everything. But Rima, you fantasize that you had seven kids and a mortgage. No. Oh. My brains rebel. <laughs> he just won't accept nice things happening to it me. It looks terrible. Is he missing a teeth? He just keeps fantasizing. Oh my god. The horribleness. Mr. Rimmer, Outland Revenue Center. Oh no. <laughs> this is a demand for immediate payment. 18,000? If you are unable to pay, so I am instructed by the revenue to break both your legs and pull off your thumbs. <laughs> what am I going to do? I'm broke. I'll pay, man. I'll pay. Where's all my money gone? Oh no, I just fantasized it all away. This is getting worse. Help me, please. Concentrate, man. I can't. Oh, oh no. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. My face has been stained with jam or about oh, being alive God. by killer ants. Why? He's making everything worse. Oh, dear. You've ruined this, Rimmer. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. It's all my fault. 
Computer error, you were wrongly informed that you would fail the astro navigation exam, and you are hereby promoted to navigation officer first class. We enclose your pips and insignia. Smeg in hell. Who said you was a loser, eh? I did. What was that? Oh, no, they're still in the game. You certainly are. Bone crunching time, me old guy. <laughs> now, where's those little dummies? Oh, no. <laughs> Hey, that was a good episode, man. That was a really good episode. Super entertaining. Very funny. Being like a video game. I don't know, it's a really good plot, man. I enjoyed this a lot. Especially starting with the video game part, man. Like, I mean, lean up to it was decent, but the video game part was the best part. This is fantastic, man. I love how Cat said, like, that's the, um, like, that's the stupid way around or the dumb way around. And having the fish half on bottom instead of having the fish half on top. Oh, my goodness. Dude, yeah. This is funny. Him throwing the golf club. Rim and ruining it for everybody. Them still being in the game. I don't know. Good episode. Can't remember the name of the episode, but the episode with the where they're show, showing like the the future selves, like or the, or the future ghosts or what have you. That one. Episode one of this season. And this one, I have to say, are my favorite three right now so far. This one was really good. I, I really enjoyed this one. I thought it was fantastic. It's really funny and really fun. The, the whole plot and everything was just really fun and funny. All right, man. That is it. That is um all for this one. Hopefully you guys are happy, safe, and healthy. I'll see you in the next one. Later.